Hello everybody, this is Ricky Keyblade Master, and today I want to touch on a person who was the latest release from Guantanamo Bay. He was sentenced there as a forever prisoner, although he didn't really commit any crimes. He did train in out. In, in Al-Qaeda base, but he didn't commit any crimes while he was there, or anywhere else for that matter, and he won his freedom after so long, finally, the Trump administration ignored the pleas for those who were wrongfully imprisoned, which was about 11. A petition was started to work on getting those people set free, as well as getting Guantanamo Bay shut down. I really think that it should happen because... Honestly, I don't really think that Guantanamo Bay should have existed in the first place, for one. And two, you know, even if it did have a purpose for existing, for housing the quote-unquote worst of the worst criminals quoted by President Bush, I can't remember which one, uh, if it was... uh, I can't remember which Bush uh, was the one who quoted it, but, um, don't quote me on this, but I believe it's the same one that said that, uh, you know, who criticized Obama for forming DACA, basically. And it might have been him. It might not have been him. I can't remember. A lot of uh, people's voices nowadays literally do sound the same. So it's hard to tell differences sometimes. Especially between the two bushes. I mean, think about it. It's just crazy. I mean, I've been running into people that have the same voice as the other person that I know of, and I accidentally mistake them for that person because of it. Since I can't see very well, and I have to identify people by voice, that becomes a hell of a lot harder becomes an increasing pain. But if anything, here's what I think needs to happen. These people that didn't really do anything wrong need to be released and freed because of the fact that, well, it's wrongful imprisonment. I mean, hell, I'm not going to lie. I've known people that have been wrongfully imprisoned for shit that they didn't even do myself. So, I know what wrongful imprisonment is. I know how that works. I just don't think that it's right to imprison someone on false charges. I mean, seriously, they tried everything to keep him as well as the other 11 that didn't commit any crimes there. You know, and considering the treatment that 
people are given. I'm glad that I can't edit because of the fact that, you know, I've seen some, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I was bored one day and I looked up, you know, a bunch of random stuff and then I ran into, you know, a video on the treatment of people in Guantanamo Bay and I'm just like, this has to stop. This really has to stop. You know, whoever developed Guantanamo Bay should be ashamed. I don't think they really understand the true value of a human life. I don't think any prison really understands the true value of a human life, really. I mean... Hell, like I said, you know, many of us with disabilities, you know, did we ask for this? You know, it's like we are being punished for crimes that we did not even commit ourselves as well. And... I just don't think that it's fair. Same goes for people who were wrongfully pris- imprisoned for crimes that they didn't commit. They know they didn't commit them. And they know the charges are complete hogwash. I mean, seriously. I'm gonna say it. Down with Guantanamo Bay. I really hope the Biden administration is the one to really put the nail in the coffin, so to speak. Because it's been up for years and doesn't deserve to stay up any longer. From what I've seen. And they can try to say that they changed. Their treatment of their prisoners. All they want. But the proof. Is all over. I mean damn. Considering what's caught on security cameras these days. Considering. Hackers these days. That could be, you know, you know, considering double agents these days who could have just infiltrated your ranks just to see how you've treated people. And once your mistreatment of people gets out, there's no covering that up. I mean, either way, there's no covering it up because... Information does have a way of leaking out. Well, let me know what you guys think about this subject in the comments. Till next time, I've been Riku Keyblade Master. Comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade Wielder and stay awesome as usual. I do not believe Guantanamo Bay should exist anymore. I just... It just repulses me that it's still up to this day. I don't really see the integral point unless, like, say, you know, we could put Russia in there for interfering with our elections or, like, you know, China for messing around with shit, too. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I literally see the point to it. For people who have committed wrongful crimes that, you know, deserve... I mean, seriously. 
that deserve executions, like, for crying out loud. I mean, man. That's all I could say.